too often I see entrepreneurs hiring experts after experts to help them with their business without having a clear and concise business strategy. So this week we talk about step number one to creating your business strategy. My name is Sarah Gilbert, business strategist and mindset coach, and I help service-based entrepreneurs build and grow their business. So if you're ready to bring your business to a whole new level of success, well, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button to be notified each time we release a new episode. Your business strategy is like the North Star of your business. It's what drives and what guides every daily actions. Because realizing or not, every action you take on a daily basis either brings you towards where you want to go or away from where you actually want to go. And you see, your business strategy is like the GPS in your car. You first must give it a direction of where do we want to go. Do we want to go to Quebec City or do we want to go to New York? Where do we want to go? So here's the question that I ask all my clients in private coaching. First question I always ask is, what do you want to create? What do you want to create as a business? Who do you want to serve? How do you want to serve them? What's the difference you want to make in the world around you? How do you want to be known to your, to your clients, potential clients in your center of influence? This will actually give the direction of where are we going with the business. After that, we'll be able to, prove, to create a plan to support that vision. But without the vision, without a clear direction of where we're going, where we can be busy being busy for a long, long time. So having a clear business strategy will align all your daily action and all the experts and supports that you need to make it a reality. So the first thing in your business strategy is to clarify and define where you want to go. Put that stake in the ground, say this is where we're going. So every other distraction that comes to you, it's a lot easier to say no because you know exactly where you're going. I hope you liked this episode. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're looking for more tools to build and grow your service-based business, I invite you to subscribe to our blog, which is also called The Best Blog. And each month I share strategies to help you build and grow your business. And I also share some insider tips. So this could be a technique, a tool, a tactic, something that I use in my own business and that you can start using in yours right now. So make sure you subscribe to our blog. So now take action, go out of the office, take pen and paper and sit down and write, clarify and define where do you want to go with your business? Where do you see it 20 years down the line? Who do you serve? How do you serve them? What's the difference you want to make in the lives of your clients and your potential clients? How do you want to be known and renowned in your market, in their lives? And this will be the first step of your business strategy. And stay with us because next week we talk about step number two, of course, to help you get there. So thank you for being here week after week and I will see you next Tuesday.